This is MathPad, a specialized keypad that lets you type mathematics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's just plug it right in with a USB-C cable. And let's type some math. So the first thing you should know is that when you click any of these symbol keys, you're going to get the top left symbol. So if I click this key here, I'm going to get alpha. If I click this key, I'm going to get pi. Etc. And if you want to access any of the other symbols on a key, you're going to have to combine the key press with these colorful modifier keys. So let's say you wanted to type the uh, proportional to symbol here. Well, it's a purple symbol, so you're going to have to hold down the purple modifier key, click the symbol key, and that gives you proportional to. That also works, of course, for the green modifier key. So if you want to type the subset symbol, you're going to hold down the green modifier key, click the symbol key, and that gives you a, uh, the subset symbol. You'll notice that the symbol keys are split into a white part and a blue part, and that simply means that you're gonna have to hold down the blue key if you wanna type anything on the blue side of the key. So let's say you wanna type this arrow, you're gonna have to hold down the blue symbol, uh, the blue modifier key and the purple modifier key, and that gives you an arrow. So the design of MathPad has been made so that you can operate it with a single hand. Right? It is pretty easy to use, it's relatively intuitive, and uh, yeah, not too difficult to use. One other thing is these little modifiers, sorry, these little uh, pink dots next to some of the symbols. You'll see gamma has it, delta has it, uh, integral sign has one as well. So many of these symbols do have a little pink dot, and that basically signifies that if you double tap that symbol, you're going to get a different but similar symbol. So if you double tap gamma, you get uppercase gamma. If you double tap pi, you get uppercase pi, etc. So for the Greek letters, it's very simple. If you double tap a Greek letter, you get the uppercase um, letter. But what if you double tap the arrow, for example? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so let's double tap the arrow. Well, you get a left arrow. And if you triple tap it, you get a double arrow. So you don't really know what you're going to get unless you try but you're gonna get something that's very similar to the symbol that's already printed on the math pad. And this is a powerful feature because that means that we can squeeze in a lot of symbols into a very small form factor, right? 120 symbols is what this math pad gives you access to, but there's only 72 printed on the, on the keys themselves. And that's because many of them are hidden behind these double tap and triple tap uh, functionality. This is the mode switch, and currently we are in plain text mode. But if you tap, if I uh, sorry, if I tap the mode switch, we can go into LaTeX mode, and in LaTeX mode, we get not the symbol, but instead we get the code for that symbol. You know, I tap alpha, I get slash alpha. If I type the square root, I get slash squirt, and then I can start typing inside of that. So this is pretty helpful if you're not very confident in LaTeX yet, if you haven't really memorized all of the mathematical codes uh, that you need when you're typesetting uh, equations in LaTeX. But if you're very confident in LaTeX, this is not gonna be very helpful to you. Let's go back to plain text mode. Another mode is Microsoft Office Equation Editor. So if I go into my Word window here and I insert a uh, equation, you'll see that um, we can type, you know, we can type standard symbols, alpha, beta, standard Greek letters, but we can also insert special symbols, like for example, the integral sign with limits, right? That's pretty powerful because that means that you don't have to click around in these menus to get the symbols that you want. You can literally just type it on the math pad. So that's a pretty powerful feature if you're using uh, Microsoft Office a lot. For example, uh, Word or PowerPoint or any of the other apps and you need to typeset equations in the equation editor. There's a similar mode for LibreOffice uh, equation editor and that's marked here in green. But I think most of the time you're gonna probably stay in the plain text mode, uh, which is signified by white. And then you can of course turn this completely off if you don't like the LED or you can turn it way up and make it super bright if that's if that's what you prefer. And that's basically it. Um, MathPad is of course 
fully open source uh, and you can modify it as much as you like. So if there's some symbol that you need, but which is not available here on MathPad, you can download the firmware, modify it, and basically add any symbols that you like. And if you're interested in a MathPad, go check out crowdsupply.com. Thank you.